Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial uh, where we're going to prepare a USB stick for the Xbox One offline system update uh, which you'll need to do if you want to upgrade your hard drive at all to a bigger hard drive or if you've got a problem with the console if the console is stuck on a black screen or a, or a blue or green screen during startup uh, this is potentially a software related issue or a hard drive if you've got an error message on the screen telling you there's a problem with your update um, or if you've got some sort of system error with an error code on the screen these are the kind of situations where you're going to need uh, to do an offline system update uh, and we'd, well, that's, that's the first place to start uh, so we're going to need a USB stick to do that we're going to need to go to Microsoft's website and download one of their OSU files there are now three files OSU1, OSU2 and OSU3 uh, and if we can't up, uh, update the console like this uh, then you will need to try and reset your console to factory settings uh, which, will, uh, which will scrub your hard drive by the way and failing that uh, then you may need to upgrade the hard drive completely to a new one uh, and if you want to swap the hard drive out for a bigger hard drive for example as well um, that's no problem you can do that uh, and also you will need the OSU1 file to, to, to be able to do that as well so without further ado uh, what you want to do is get your USB stick and put it into your computer so put the USB stick in Windows 10 should recognize it straight away and open up the file explorer and this here the drive E over here is our USB stick it might be on drive D on your computer what we need to do is we need to prepare it first of all and format it so put the pointer onto your drive right click onto it and we want to click on format so left click on format we need to make sure that the file system that we're using here is selected to NTFS you don't want it on FAT32 or XFAT so NTFS is the correct file system for the Xbox click on start and this will now format the USB stick so click on OK only takes a second right the drive is now formatted and ready to use we can now close this down here if we go back to file explorer left click once and if we just go down to the E drive here we can now see that this USB drive is now empty and we're now ready to go to Microsoft's website and download the latest offline software update file and put it onto the USB stick and we're going to do that now so we formatted our USB stick ready for use uh, what we need to do now is go to Xbox's website uh, and we need to locate the uh, OSU files for the uh, for the Xbox so first things first then uh, go to Google and we're going to type in Xbox one offline system update and you can see that it's already come up there so we're going to select offline system updates and if we want to scroll down and we're going to click on this beta support Xbox here system updates left click onto them this information is useful so read this it tells you, if you uh, what to do if you've got any problems we've already talked through it uh, it gives you some troubled uh, shooting tips here but very often uh, it's going to resort to uh, what we're going to do here which is perform an offline system update so we're going to click on offline system update here now this page as well it is you need to read through this at some point we're going to be downloading the OSU one system file uh, which is going to resolve most of your issues uh, there are some consoles where you now have to download the OSU 2 and OSU 3 files uh, but most often it's going to be the OSU one file so try your OSU one file first if that doesn't work then you need to go to their website and, uh, and perform the download the uh, for the download files for the OSU 2 and OSU 3 Three to get the uh, to get the system updated properly then you need to do the OSU one file but for most consoles as you see here uh, all of the Xbox one consoles which includes the S's and the X's and the later models you just need the OSU one file and to do a hard drive update uh, sorry upgrade uh, to a new hard drive OSU one's the file that you want so what we want is the OSU one file so we're going to click on that there and we're going to click on OSU one file just here now this is going to start the download here uh, as you can see it says it's going to take a few minutes so what we'll do is we'll come back uh, when that's downloaded okay guys <clears throat> so the OSU one file has now downloaded uh, which is down here uh, so what we can do is we can now put this OSU one file onto our USB stick uh, if I go to the file explorer 
and click on the USB stick here. We need to put this file into into the, the space here. But before I do that, I just want to go back to the uh, Microsoft's website regarding the updates. And I just want to make one thing clear uh, and, and also a bit of a disclaimer here as well. Um, if you are unsure in any way which OSU file to use, go to their website on this page where we found the file and read the instructions. OK, don't take my word for it. Read what they say. But just as a, a, a quick rule of thumb for you, I'm just going to try and uh, simplify it a little bit because they haven't made it simple at all to understand. Uh, and if you're hard of thinking like myself, then uh, so, sometimes you need to, uh, to, to have it told more than once. So this is my advice. If you are unsure which OSU file to use, there, there are three. There's OSU1, OSU2 and OSU3. My advice is, whichever con Xbox console it is you've got, whether it's the original or the Xbox S or the X, start off with the OSU1 file. So any problem that you've got, you've got a system error, you need to do a system update, you're changing your hard drive, whatever the problem is, you're troubleshooting the, the problem, you need an offline system update. Start off with OSU1 which is what we've downloaded now, okay? It even says here, look, all, X, all other Xbox consoles, it means apart from the original. So if you've got the Xbox One S or X, the update file that you need is the OSU One file, which is the one that we've downloaded. Now, the problem starts with the original Xbox One. My advice is, if you've got an original old-style Xbox One, again, start with the OSU One file. OK, but it's uh, but for some versions, you may need to download either the OSU2 or the OSU3 file before you download the OSU1 file to get it up to date. So this is where the problem starts. What you might need to do is verify your operating system, first of all, by clicking on here and it will tell you which operating systems uh, you need. All these operating systems here is OSU1, which is great, which is, uh, keeps things nice and simple, but there are certain operating systems where you need to use the OSU2 or OSU3 uh, just to confuse, make things really confusing. Um, it tells you in this section here, so if you've got this build here, then you're going to need to use OSU3 first. So you download the OSU3 file by clicking here and follow the instructions and then you need to download the OSU1 file. If you've got any of the other versions, then you need to download the OSU2 file first, and then you need to download the OSU1 file afterwards. Confusing or what? Yes, it is. Like I say, keep things simple. Start off with the OSU1 file and take it from there, which is what we've done. So we're going to go back over to File Explorer, right? We're going to go into Downloads. And here we've got the OSU1 file, which is what we want, and we want to put it on our USB stick here. This OSU1 file, we don't want this folder. We want to go inside the folder. So I'm just going to double click on this. And we've got the system update here. This is what we want to put in our drive, in our USB stick. We don't want, we don't want to put the whole folder in there. We want the, the file that's inside the folder, which says system update. That's what we want to put in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag this and we're going to put it into this drive here and it's going to copy it into this drive. Now this is going to take some time, okay? So what we'll do is we'll come back in a couple of minutes when it's complete. Right, so the OSU file uh, has downloaded and we've got it put onto our USB stick uh, with the root file being the systems update folder, which is just here. That's what we want. Uh, we've now put that onto the, the, uh, the USB stick down here and we can see it's over here. Look, I've just clicked onto the the folder and we've got these files in here um, but now we've got the system uh, the system files onto the USB stick we're now ready to take the USB stick out of your computer uh, and then we're ready to go over to the Xbox to to install